uh, well, tonight we'll be doing the um, DreamWorks villain tier list. I feel like we can go ahead and get right to it. Uh, this tier list was constructed by the our dear Lord Ryan Walterson, who's not here tonight, but he did this a few weeks ago. So yeah, uh, we, uh, we have a pretty solid, uh, not solid, an excellent uh, list here to work through. And yes. I honestly, like, okay, so there's uh, the tiers we work with. S tier being the best, A tier being, you know, I feel like a lot of folks can figure this out with like yeah. the, the best at the top and then F being at the bottom and the IDK. Oh. All right, folks, let's get into it. So the first one we have here is this smiley face. I don't, I thought that was an emoji movie character, but. No, what are you doing? You're I'm being, being silly. Stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, we have Barb from Trolls World Tour. Okay, so I, I liked- Do you like her design and her voice? Her voice kind of reminds me of uh, Sunset Shimmer from My Little Pony a bit. Trolls one was like below average to me. The second one got a bit more creative with like these different troll like kingdoms with their respective music. Like we got like uh, rock and roll and pop and whatnot. That was fun. Um, it wasn't necessarily a brilliant film, but I'm like, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it because music killed my grandma, okay? But um, I felt that for Barb, she was a pretty fun villain and I wouldn't put her in like the top tier by any means. But uh, I didn't put her in B tier. I B for Barb, I put her in B tier. I'm actually stupid. Yeah, I look at this oh. picture and I thought the guitar axe was actually her butt. And I'm like, I don't remember her butt being that big. Nah, um, B for butt for Barb. All right, moving on. This is Captain Chantal Dubois. Dubois? Dubois. From, from Madagascar 3. I have not Chantel seen Chantel Dubois. I have seen her in memes, but I've never seen her. I've never seen Madagascar 3. I have not seen Madagascar 3, because that's the one with the da 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 circus. And you know what? That's kind of when I was like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> so I, I never saw it. But I have seen this character like her animations and she looks it unhinged. Well, I can't give a fair uh, assessment because I've never seen the movie, but uh, she, she has potential. I guess IDK, oh, I feel bad. Yeah, IDK, but you know, IDK is better than us putting her in a lower ranking because right. we just don't know, but she looks she looks very entertaining. Haven't seen it, so. Um, it's feel, I feel bad because this, this category is going to be pretty full, uh, unfortunately. Uh, this just villains I haven't seen or, 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 or I don't know. This is, it's Eris. Eris. So I do know a few things about this character. Oh, I'm sure you do. Well, what does that mean? About you. Okay, well, S tier, I guess. Oh, come on, give me a break. I don't know. I, um, I, I, I don't know. Have you never seen Sinbad? No. Oh, well, I have seen Sinbad and- Where would you put her? I mean, as a character, she's kind of generic, in my opinion. She, like, everything that's memorable about her is the way that she's animated. And I think she does have some pretty cool powers. Um, she's very, she's very, like, you know, cunning and, you know, just like, ooh, I'm a badass, sexy god. And, you know, I'm, I'm trick these foolish mortals into my bidding. Right. Um, but like her motivations, just her as a villain, I wouldn't really say there's anything super special. Like everything that's special about her is the way that she moves and like her sultry voice. Um, great design, really beautiful design. Why would you want 2D when you have the chef from Trolls? <laughs> um, <laughs> Look at her, yeah. If I recall, like she was the chef for the king and she couldn't get the trolls to make the trolls or the uh, to make the Bergen happy. And she like went out in disgrace to go find the trolls so she can cook them up to get her station back. I think you remember more than I do. <laughs> Just the way he's standing there. <laughs> can I have my Game Boy back? I saw this movie this villain didn't strike me anything memorable or or distinct or unique she just was i'm villain so i put her in d tier yeah i was gonna say i i think i watched the first trolls once maybe 
and I'm pretty sure like the majority of it has been wiped from my memory, so I definitely don't even remember this villain. Next we have a white guy. He's oh, the, the Colonel, Colonel. From Spirit. Honestly, I don't think he's a horrible villain. I don't think he's super memorable. When I think of the movie Spirit, <laughs> I don't really think of the villain first. You know, I think of yeah. the horse and I think of Little Creek and I think of their part of the story. The villain, I think he's, you know, kind of just there to be functional, just sort of as an antagonist. Um, well, he represents. But he's kind of a. Yeah, go on. No, I mean, sorry to interrupt. But I'm just going to say, like, he, he represents, you know, uh, manifest destiny he, he represents american imperialism of of the encroaching like modern quote-unquote world at the time and and how like yeah it's it's like what is what is spirit literally you know the spirit of the west the last bastion of like this fero ferocious natural instinct that is opposing the progress quote-unquote of man and how he's like <laughs> i'll break it and it's like you can try and and yeah, he, that's that's his role. That's how he operates yeah. as an antagonist. Is just like I am, I am self-proclaimed progress, and you will bend. And it's like I don't think so. Right. I think he's okay. I don't think he's like fucking fantastic or anything. He's but I'd give him average. C. Yeah, I better say he's very average. average. That's yeah, average. Nothing, nothing of particular. Like holy shit, what a memorable guy. But more of a yeah, you served your role, and, and I thought you're right. Like the ending to me is what saves it, where him like relinquishing spirit that's the horse's name right but like yeah him being like yeah you know i can't break you like off and you go and it's like oh yeah. that's I like that it's it's, it's a yeah. good I, I love the movie spirit it's so good it's a good one too bad the sequel like they made a, a horse girl like a movie or show um <laughs> good job. i like everyone saying c for colonizer <laughs> c for... <laughs> All right, next we have, I'm so glad that Ryan put this on the list because I actually stand this, the termites from ants. I uh, <laughs> I actually like this movie a lot. Um, parts it's, of it. It's, yeah, I was gonna say, it's not a bad movie overall. There are parts of it that are pretty good. It's just weird. It's just a weird movie. It is. And I feel like the first act is really good. And the second act is boring. The third one tries to pull it back in, but I'm not as engaged. The first act, though, with introducing their world, their roles, and then the, the fight with the termites, I thought that was the coolest shit ever. Mm -hmm. All right. Kid me in the theater. Kid, kid. kid me in the theater. All right. Yes. For my, I was I was watching this movie with my for my friend's birthday. It was Charlie Theron, it was his birthday. And he had some other friends, including myself, <laughs> to go see this in the theater. And I'm like, cool, what a cool movie. And this scene coming up freaked me the hell out. I'm like, this. <gasps> that terrified me. Like just. They are pretty scary looking, especially for a kid. Like this thing just roaring, but I guess what got me is him see, say, screaming out there here and then just getting completely uh -huh. like killed. Um, it's hard to really give this thing a fair rating because <laughs> it's not really a villain per se as, as much as just a force of nature. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as me getting hyped over it, me really loving what they did, I'd put it in B tier, which sounds so weird. Folks are like, mm -hmm. put the termite from ants in B tier. Hey, I'll like, hand it to you. You feel far more passionately about about it than I do, so I'll hand it to you. Yeah, I think it's a very intense scene. I think they do it really well. I think in, 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 from start to finish, it's, it, it, I'm like, this is cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, biased, you bet. But like, I uh, B, B for, for bug, bias. B for bias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Dave from Penguins of Madagascar? Oh, God. That's another one I never saw. <laughs> Me neither. I can't really give this one a fair rate because I've never seen the film. But I've heard neither good... of us can. I've heard good chatter about this guy. Uh, but, eh. Next, we've got uh, Don Lino from Shark Tale. <laughs> from Shark Tale. I've Don Lino. seen this. I've seen this movie, but I can't recall. He's like, oh, he's so ashamed of his son, the son that survives because he's a vegetarian. That's right. And he was right. so proud of his of his other son, who was a meat eater, and then he died. So 
he's kind of just like, oh, I'm just kind of a parody of like a mom boss and ah, family. That's right. It's Robert De Niro. That's right. He's are you, like, are you out of your mind? Oh, was this a good movie? <laughs> I can't remember. No. I mean, it is, if you have, I think if you have the nostalgia for this movie, it's pretty hysterical in just, like, how bad it is. Um, and the villain isn't terrible, like, he's got his reasons to be evil, but at the end of the day, he's like, oh, I'm just hurting because my fucking family is being ripped apart. Um, but I'd probably give him a D. Or you can put him an IDK if you don't really have an opinion. I, I don't. I really don't. Next, we have got Dr. Erwin Armstrong from Boss Baby 2. And oh, I'm no. To... I God, I haven't seen any of these DreamWorks movies. <laughs> I have seen this. And you got Jeff Goldblum as the voice of this character. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so he's a baby in disguise. So let me tell you, there, Jeff Goldblum uh -huh. just phones it in. At, he, he doesn't give a shit. Um, I mean, yeah. Could you blame him? What are you doing? No, 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 no! no. Ah. Yeah, he, he just phones it in. Ah, ah. I mean, it's boss baby yeah. too. I can't blame Jeff. Need some of that DreamWorks money. Ah. Um, nah. It's funny because <laughs> the, the 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 he, I kind of like his character where he's like, uh, uh, parents have uh, uh, destroyed the world, and babies are going to get rid of the parents, uh, uh, so we can be in charge. So like, there's a great scene at the end where the babies are put, the kids are putting on like a, sh a play, and they're just ripping their parents apart in the audience, being like, "You destroyed the world for us, thank you, <laughs> like screw you." <laughs> and the parents are like, "Uh." <laughs> so I kind of like that, where he's just like a baby who's like, parents have lost the ability to care for the world, so we're taking taking them out. Um. <laughs> um. Well, I hand the reins to you because I have no opinion. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. And Jeff Goldblum's acting is kind of punchy enough to make it that much more distinct with <laughs> how weird it is. <laughs> I will say that. I will say that. All right, next we have Merida. Oh, I never saw Abominable. Well, apparently she dies, so, you know. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> that for like guest on driving a truck and just running over beast or something oh my god that's that's pretty cool <laughs> good movie <laughs> well that's just the end <laughs> well i i dk um don't i know. i dk she doesn't look particularly memorable anyways but neither of us saw it so <laughs> this villain is such a joke he is generic as far as i'm concerned like basic ass bitch He's like, ah, ah, right? Like, yeah. The screaming at the dragons is just so comical. <laughs> that poor Mike. Dude, the dragon's like, the fuck? <laughs> he, he's, not, he's not, like, afraid. He's uncomfortable. He's like, ah. <laughs> I mean, I will, I can give some props. Like, it does make me feel a little sad how the dragons are, like, afraid of him. Right. And there are some things that are kind of cool, like how his cloak kind of shields him from the fire. It's like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea, but that's he, how can you not laugh at this character? He's so laughable. No, I um, I feel that this guy is just, you know, I'm bad guy. That's it. You know, I would have yeah. I'm a bad guy. I'm strong. I'll take you over. I'll beat you. I'll, you know, it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. What's your motives? I want to control the dragons. Yeah, it's like, control the dragons. I want power. Ah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's all funny interaction where someone's like, it's a treat reply where someone's like, yeah, you're like the twins from How to Chinga Dragons, left nut and right nut. <laughs> I'm like, it's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I'm, um, I'm I put him in C. Here. Really? Really? I put him in C because at least I remember him. Well, I remember like getting like surgery on my mouth. <laughs> that wasn't fun. <laughs> You can put um, him in D. 
I'm gonna Honestly, that's him. totally fine. I'm gonna put him above the chef and below the white guy. Eugene from Boss Baby? Oh, it's, it's Boss Baby. I didn't watch any of the Boss Baby movies. Wait. Hold on. I at least want to look this up. I see you've met my big brother, Eugene. A man of few words. <laughs> I do not remember oh my this. God, that character looks like Saul if he aged really poorly. Hey. Surprise. How dare you? Am I wrong? Yeah. Uh, I I don't remember this guy at all. Um, I guess I'll put him in the IDK tier, but like I feel like it's kind of a, a cop out because I've seen Boss Baby, but like I don't even remember. Um, well, I think we got to uh, our first S tier. Oh, Fairy Godmother. I love her. Me too. I undoubtedly. Uh, S tier. I love Fairy Godmother because she's so she's so smart and so manipulative, but she's also hysterical. And she like has the banger of a song. Yeah, S tier, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I have her trying to help out her son, Chris Charming. Her like messing with Shrek, uh, playing him as a fool, making him give in to his uh, his insecurities. Um, I great antagonist for Shrek to work up against. Um, Fairy Godmother being the bad guy, I think is pretty smart too. <laughs> it's like, you yes. know, what do we usually know her for? For making things happen. Now, what is she doing in this film? Oh, she's the bad guy. <laughs> I feel that um, uh, Lord Farquaad, I put him in eights here. I think he's. I, yeah, I agree. He So Farquaad's great. I thought he was a fantastic entry as a villain, as a modern villain uh, for that matter. Where yeah. he he's obnoxious, he's he can be imposing. As I mean, I say that with him obviously being like very small, and that's part of the joke. But like, mm -hmm. I mean, he he was a problem for Shrek and Fiona. Um, I mean, he's also a great meme. You know? I I I think it's wonderful that it's a it's a pot <laughs> shut at Eisner with the kind of like Renaissance looking hair. Uh, I didn't really so they, they got that the chest hair and the nipples too. Um, yeah, he he's a wonderful. Like to, it's. I, I fucking love his. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice yes. I'm willing to make. And I'm like, dude, that's so, so many, that's human history. So many memorable <laughs> lines. Right. Um, the scene when he's like torturing the the gingerbread cookie. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> like I've Shrek really set the modern scene for. I, I would say at least in a writing way for animation where like Disney was kind of caught up and it's like, let's just do fairy tales and we can have fun and be cutesy with it. But like still at its core, it's very wholesome and playing it safe, um, playing it straightforward. Uh, but like Shrek flipped the table completely and Farquaad's a big part of that where like you get that like, oh, it's a fairy tale villain, but in a very modern sense. And I love it. Next we have who? The Fusas? Who the hell are the Fusas? Let me see. The from Madagascar. From the first Madagascar. I I can't remember them. You don't remember them at all? Man, I loved this movie so much as a kid. Um As villains though, they're really not good villains. I mean, I guess they serve as some antagonistic force, but really like there isn't really a villain in this movie. It's more about uh, Marty and Alex, and like Alex kind of giving in to his animalistic urges and going feral. That's right, Zootopia. I think they might be worthy of the first up tier. Really? Yeah, wow. because they really don't serve that much of a purpose. I do remember them, but I mean, the funniest thing about them is the foos are attacking. <laughs> 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 wow. Um. I say F for Fusa. <laughs> We're just doing alliteration at this point. I'm putting him in <laughs> IDK because I just, I don't know. And I'm going to put this guy too in IDK because I just do not know. That's all. Yeah, that's there. fair. Um, all right, so now we have Le Wait, Frog. which one? Because there's two frogs from Flushed Away. This is Le Frog. I've never seen oh, Flushed Away. Le Frog is like a French stereotype. Um, it's kind of funny, I guess, but that's kind of the extent of the character, as far as I remember. I thought this was stop motion. No, it's like, a, I'm pretty sure it's all CGI. 
They just kind of emulated the, the stop motion style. Even down to the frame rate a bit. But first, a word from our sponsor. Okay, yeah, Ray Connie your buds. <laughs> Alright, so, um... <laughs> We can uh, put him in IDK since you've never seen. Um, I think I would I like this film. You should watch it sometime. I uh, I don't know if it holds up, but it was pretty funny to me as a kid. All right, next we have. Okay, I actually do like <laughs> Galaxar a bit here. Um, he's from uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, which I like that movie kind of. I enjoyed it. Rain Wilson's the voice of the character. Dwight oh, from the office. The Omega I never quadrant. Knew. Like it's nothing like super memorable, but I thought he was pretty fun. I'll leave it to you then, because I really don't remember too much. I remember the main characters a little bit more. I kind of forgot about the villain. Um Galaxar, I put him in upper C. He seems low funny. B. I think I put him in low B. Sure. Over the hedge. Oh shit. I've never seen Over the Hedge. Oh, you've never seen Over the Hedge? No. She's just kind of like... Oh, she got she... axe for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> just an angry lady who's like, I gotta get rid of all these vermin. Look at her hair. Holy shit. That is like... <laughs> Talk about the... She kind of looks like Monica Monica Friends. Monica who? <laughs> she looks like Monica from Friends. I never watched Friends either. Oh... Just get the clapping wrong. It's so funny that life can't be this way. It's so funny that life can be this way. Those are not the lyrics. Yeah, it is. It's so funny. No, it's so no, no. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Something, something, something is so You're... strange. <laughs> All right, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'm putting them in A tier. I thought they were fucking like they, I've come around on them. I didn't like them at first, but I never watched the movie, and I'm like, no, I kind of love them. So yeah, um, the I think they're charming. As um, uh, I mean, maybe... I like that. I'd give the I'd put them in B tier. I don't think they're. I do think they're good. I think they're like a very charming unit, and I like that. They're not really villains. Like, I like that in their minds, they're kind of the heroes of their own story, you right. know? Like, That's they fair. do do, they do bad things, of course, <laughs> do -do. but I did say doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> you got me all scrambled now with that cha 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 cha. Be for bears. Um, I'd say. I don't. I might move if you want to put them in A tier, that's fine. I, people think that are very attached to the characters in Puss in Boots for good reason. Why is <laughs> Howard from Better Call Saul the next one in line here? It's not Howard from Better Call Saul. <laughs> the One Piece. All right. Um, <laughs> who is this? Grimmel? That's from How to Train Your Dragon Three. Dude, he yeah, was. Yeah, Grimmle. He's he was a even... good villain. You like I like this, this villain. Hold on, I, I do like this villain. You know why? Because he's sort of yeah, he's sort story. of like a dark mirror to Hiccup, I think. Kind of who's someone who's also like you know the he capable was... of capturing the dragons and but captures them for you know not to to liberate them and to create you know like a utopia with them or to you know destroy them. Um, I feel like he is far more intimidating than. The last Drago. guy? Well, yeah, because he yes. actually has a bit more, like, like layers to his character, where Drago just wanted to, like, um, bring these dragons under his heel, while this guy actually understands dragons. He just uses them to... Yeah. Use them in his like own he... way, but, but not by mm -hmm. force or intimidation, but by actually knowing them. Yes. Hmm. Um, I think he's... I think he is at least worthy of a C tier... Honestly, maybe even Lopi. I think he's a pretty intimidating villain. Like this scene, he um he just sneaks into Hiccup's house and has like total control over the situation. You wanna know why this oh. guy is gonna be S tier? Okay. Among us! Oh. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> dude, awesome dude. I love it. <laughs> no, he's not S tier. He's not that good. I I know he's that bad. Okay, there you're putting it up. <laughs> um, I would give him a low B. I think he's a far more compelling villain than 
any of the it, of all of the how to train your dragon trilogy i think he's the most compelling villain and that's not that's not including the tv show on netflix i know there's also a lot of good characters in that show but just in terms of the three in terms of the three movies i'd say he's worthy of at least a b i feel motive wise wise writing wise yeah like low b um i think the upper c for me but uh i do not like his mouth um, <laughs> uh i'm gonna probably put him in upper eh, below the term come on give me give me lower b okay next we've got all right um, moving on we got um who the oh, <laughs> like he's from, some guy he's from, that's he, from he's from turbo, turbo. <laughs> that's just like some really dumb like oh he was the race car driver that the snail really looked up to but he was a bad guy the whole he was time against the snails the entire time yes that's, that's an f tier for me i don't know if you ever saw turbo but i'd say this is just straight up a lame villain i do recall him and i do now it's coming back to me how it's like homeboy here was such a letdown <laughs> My villain is a snail. <laughs> oh, my, my <laughs> All right, next we got um, Hernan Cortez, who is uh, um, from uh, the Road to El Dorado. I remember that he was voiced by Jim Cummings. Me too. He's like, in that, which is like, you know, that's that gives him a lot of, just kind of like with Eris, where it's like, I think that carries the character a lot, where the voice is just like, oh, it makes him really intimidating. But he's in the movie so little. I'm gonna put him in C tier. I feel like he kind of falls right next to the other colonizer. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe if he had more screen time, he could have been a more threatening villain, had more of a presence, but I just really don't remember him very much. Yeah, me neither. Speaking but of. But I do love El Dorado. It's a great movie. Jack and Jill. Puss From in Boots. the first Puss in Boots? Hold on. We can't... Oh. Gosh, we do so many IDKs. <laughs> sure. I thought that Humpty Dumpty was the villain in the first Puss in Boots. Uh, I thought we had Humpty but Dumpty I'm probably, on here. I just dreamed the only thing that I remember from Puss in Boots was like the reveal with Humpty Dumpty. And he's just like, I was always there. And he oh, just like shows all the scenes like when he was like watching Puss from afar. <laughs> um, but I don't, maybe he wasn't a villain. Uh, These they, designs are pretty lame. They're not very memorable. They're not. And it makes me just so much more hyped for Puss in Boots 2, where, like, they yeah. really upped their visual game so well. And they, like, took what was... They took the style and gave it a nice little twist and worked with what's familiar to the Puss in Boots, you know, Shrek universe with those designs, but, like, upgraded it so well and much more vibrant and colorful and expressive. And I, I fucking love it. Um, I know, me too. It's such a step up. These guys are just um, lame. I I'm putting them in like... Just put them in F or IDK. No, I think I mean, we need to I'm... put at least a few more in F because we have so many in IDK. <laughs> Jack Horner's S tier is funny. Jack us. Horner. Uh, maybe, maybe... It's, Actually, you know what? This is up to you. You know how I feel about him. I'd say he's at least A tier. Yes. I don't know if... I know everyone really, really likes this character. I would say he's on par with Farquaad. Yes. I wouldn't say he's best here, though. Well, he channels the same Which... energy as Farquaad, too. Even the same yeah. haircut, almost. <laughs> the same haircut, yeah. And he's got a really funny voice. He's I great. Like design. The design is so much fun. What was his face? How fat it is? <laughs> you know, so he is very memorable. And now that I'm looking at all these DreamWorks villains, where I'm just like, holy shit, I don't even remember most of these characters. In that... In terms of that, okay, I would say it's fair to give him S tier because he's so much more memorable. But know. in the grand scheme of like villainhood, I don't know. I remember, I remember death far more. That's um, what I was going to say. I think that's. I'd put. I mean, I'm going to hold for now. There's a character that I would, but I'd say he's very worthy of an A tier. I don't know about S personally. I don't think S tier. I think a lot of folks are hyped just to have a villain back. I'm one of those. Yes. People. Which and is I, great. I think Jack Horner's a lot of fun and great. Uh, I think he's on positive <laughs> people. I think he's a blast. I think Farquaad's better. But um, I, I hold Farquaad and Jack Horner in A tier to like, with all accolades. Good shit. Um, yes. 
But very Shrek much Godmother agree with you. Has them beat. And Shrek Universe yeah. is, is pushing it with the villains. Next, we got uh, J.K. Simmons from Kung Fu Panda 3. Um, I never saw Kung Fu Panda 3. So I feel that this is a hard act to follow because, like, Kung Fu Panda also has some pretty fantastic villains. Um, yes, I was waiting for us to get to those villains because I do like the first two quite a bit. I this guy looks a little silly. I think he's cool, but I, I, but it's a hard act to follow with um, Lord Shen. The peacock guy? Yeah, Sh Shen is the best. Um, this guy feels like he's a lesser version of Tai Lung. So I'd put him in, I'd say, B tier? Right next to the term right now. Um, I'd put him in upper B tier. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> My buttocks. He's pretty nah. fun. I, I, I'd say I'd put him in, like, B tier, but, like... B for because he's the B movie guy. B movie. Oh my god, shut up. Um, yeah, I put him at low B tier. He's got. Oh my pretty... god, look at those two characters side by side. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the wrong buddy cop movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure, why not? Me before and after actions. All right, uh, Shen, S tier. Yeah, definitely S tier. I the... adore his everything. Everything about him is fantastic. His motives, his designs, the way they incorporate his feathers into knives with his, like, how he fights. I love his character. Yeah, his backstory is super compelling. And it's just his whole character arc of, like, Can oh, it's really, really good. I like how he's so, he's so, like, afraid of his destiny. And in the end, he does change his destiny by, like, letting himself die. <laughs> kind of fucked. Uh, the design is phenomenal. Oh god, yes. He, he it, th there are some moments where it's like a design is like, oh, uh, you nailed it. Like this is it. You you did an exceptional job, and they nailed it with Shin. He's evil. He's got personality, a fantastic design, great motives, uh, great foe for Poe. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I I was wondering like Tai Long, you know, fun villain in the first film. I enjoyed. I really like Tai Long. I'd I'd still put him up there, but this guy for sure is. He's much more like big. Yeah, well, in some ways, yes, because he's more cunning. Like, his his power doesn't come cunning. from his brute strength. It comes right. from his cunning. Right. I, I feel like I feel like Lord Shang would have outsmarted Tai Lung. And I know there's a, there's a power creep, you know, because if, if Poe could defeat Ta Tai Lung, but he was struggling with this guy in the second film, then, you know, naturally, this guy could beat Tai Lung. But, like, you're right. Cunning's the word. That's the word. He's agile. He's cunning. He's, he's he's he doesn't have to rely on brute strength. So, it makes him fun. It adds. It makes him a different kind of villain that is just very engaging and interesting to follow. So, mm -hmm. Lord Shen. I don't know. What is he? I actually would put him over the fairy godmother. Yeah, I would. We got, oh, uh, this guy. Scar. This guy's a joke. <laughs> it's like Scar with a pompadour. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking um, like low C or upper D. Oh, I was gonna say F. <laughs> he's pretty pathetic for he a villain. Yeah. Um, D is fine. Um, you know what? Here's one thing I'll say, though. Yeah. You're putting him in the same category as Drago. Drago, like, actually killed Hiccup's dad. I I put Pompadour Scar in F tier. It's pretty... Just pathetic is the best word I can think of. But D is fine. I think low D. Alright, so we got a General Mandible from uh, Ants. Um... Um, he's a pretty basic bad guy. Yeah, maybe C tier. I don't know. I, like maybe that's a little generous, but I, I do. Think, I think he's Go got a lot on. more. He's got a, bit, a lot more personality than these yeah. two guys. Um, that's totally fair. But it's pretty basic. Like I want to be in charge. That's it. So, um, him being like the strong over the weak. You know, the workers. I hate the workers. Ah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And he did try to like drown all of them at the very end like oh all the worker ants we don't need them we just need the army ants because we're right. strong sylvester so stallone's it... like don't do that <laughs> <laughs> um okay well this next character uh... <laughs> oh mrs and grunion sherman? is it from peabody and sherman yeah um i don't really remember much about that movie let alone the villain yeah, kind of forgettable. I mean, I think it's a pretty fun movie, but... Well, no, the movie's fine, but I don't remember her character that well. 
Yeah. But that sequence with like the song Beautiful Boy with like Peabody and Sherman, like him raising him. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really sweet. Yeah. So she was like a social worker, is that it? I put her in IDK because I just don't really remember. Me neither. Um, <laughs> those chickens are up to something, they all. Oh, uh, they're organized. I, I put him in low B. Or, eh, He's fun. I mean, stuff. his wife is. Or Were they husband and wife or were they just like working together? I think he was clapping. No, they were married. Oh, I mean, really? Um, I thought. They, oh, I thought. I think they're married. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think she's like of the two, she's far more evil. Like she has she's more drive than he does. They're both pretty good villains. I might um, put her in like upper B. That's fair. Good old good old Arbin, you know, execution. What about Ruth Bader Ginsburg? I can't remember. <laughs> I do remember. She's pretty funny. Um oh. I I I can't remember her. Well, in the first movie, she's just kind of there for like a one-off joke, and she is beating Alex with the purse. And then in the second movie, she like has a whole arc where she's like leading this whole group of people to <laughs> kick the asses of the animals. Like as a character, she's not very memorable, but she is pretty funny, and she is relentless. <laughs> I do remember her like chasing him down and shooting him with a gun and beating him with a purse, and uh, she's pretty just... funny. Like the other <laughs> relentless Madagascar character. <laughs> um, I think yeah, she's kind of just like a meme character. Okay. Yeah, she's funny, but that's about as as much as I can say. Philip from Wallace and Gromit Curse the Where I don't know. Oh, I've never seen it. I'm ashamed to say that. I've seen it, but I can't recall the dog. Mm. And I don't mean Gromit. I mean this one. Yeah. Um, then we got. Uh... Pied Piper from Shrek Forever After. Uh, pff, I think he's kind of fun, but I'm like put him, put him in like upper, like right here next to that guy. Nah, sure. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys. Sure, that's C fine. C for musician, because <laughs> it's a C musician. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got it. Then we got Hot Ooh. Topic. Oh. I really love this movie. I love Rise of the Guardians. Oh, that's his, uh... That's, a uh, Nightmare Boy. I think his name is Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Wow. Because that's that is what his name is. He's, like, the embodiment of, like, the fear of darkness. The, like, the, he, he, like, the he, thing that's the under your bed. Man, right? Yeah. I really like this character. I love this movie. It's a good um, movie. I wish they would have done more. You know, they should have been more I know, I oh, it would have been so cool if they could have done more. They could have done so much more. Um, I'd give him at least a B, honestly. I think he's a good villain. And I think I think he's very compelling because he wants like yes, he's evil, but he wants exactly what all the other guardians want. Yeah, he, and he adulation. wants to be he wants to be believed in. It's exactly what it's the same thing that all the other guardians want, oh, yeah. what they need. It's what it's what Jack wants. He wants to be believed in. And that's what the boogeyman wants too. He wants to be believed in. But it's just that one is light, one is dark. Prince Charming, I put in like. Oh, Prince Charming is a little weeny. <sighs> no, is... not a. No, he's not B. I thought that he's villain. Funny. Is... He's such a wiener, though. He's Stop like. I'm saying wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, she'll jack him off and I can't say wiener. <laughs> no, he's such a weenie of a villain. Uh, he's so pathetic. He's nothing without his mommy. He's so pathetic. I'd put him in C, like, and I think that C is generous. I think B is, he's not deserving of B. You think he's on equal grounds as Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Nah. Yeah, I think he's pretty fun. He is fun, but as a... As a villain, just on his own, without his mom, like, he's a villain in the third Shrek movie, and he's kind of pathetic. Like, You're right. He doesn't really do anything. About that. You're right. He's kind yeah, of... Yeah, he doesn't really do anything. Mm. I I think B is... No. We can't do C No, you Charlie. can't put him in B. E. Right there. Put him in C. <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> no, you're <laughs> so mean to me. <laughs> put him in upper C. All right. All right, upper C is fine, because he is fun to watch, but as a villain, he's pretty pathetic. All right, I thought this twist villain from the bad guys was a bit of a letdown. Um, yeah. 
I, 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 and it was so it was pretty obvious too you could tell i mean at least i could tell immediately i was like ah this is gonna be the bad guys he's like oh i'm the i'm the entrepreneur uh, well, what was he like? He was like, oh, I win the money and I give it all away, but it's all a farce. And I don't know. <laughs> I I actually kind of like Professor Poopy Pants. I'm, I'm not crazy about toilet humor, but like, you know, it's Captain Nerd Pants would expect. Yeah, um, I mean, that's exactly what this cool teacher, whole franchise was always based off of. And they do. It's nice teacher. that they like stay faithful to it. They do. It is yep. silly. It's, it's juvenile, but that's always what Captain Underpants was. It was kind of a celebration of that. I remember laughing a lot um, while watching like his scenes. I thought he had the uh, is it John Mulaney who's the voice? No, ah, I forget. That's the guy from a uh, Big Mouth. Um, I put him yeah, in. Yeah, pretty the, fun. Well, not after you. Um, yeah. yeah, right there. Oh, it's a he's worthy of B. Very fun villain. I'm gonna put him all right there. All right. Um, <laughs> who the hell is this? Yeah, I don't recognize that design. The Punch Monkeys from... Oh, come on. Ah. From what? The Croods. Uh, you, Ryan, oh. I, I appreciate you going above and beyond, but like that's... <laughs> no. The um, Croods. Next, ah. we've got Remesis. Ooh, that's an S tier. Absolutely, dude. I... I... What, a, what a compelling character that you're... It's so empathetic. You really, really feel for this guy. Because you see the whole story through the lens of Moses. And it's so hard to, like, watch this person that, you know, that you love, you know, take a completely different path from you. And he suffers so much. I have a lot of But it's kind him. of his, his own, yeah, it's his own undoing. Which, like, I mean, I have, <laughs> like... I know that so I, I grew up at a Christian school and yes. the school would let us watch Prince of Egypt uh, like on Fridays or whatever for like the movie because you know it's Christian you know I guess it counts and, yeah and it's a beautiful movie. well they would complain that like we wish the film was more about God and not the brothers and I'm like shut up oh like, shut up come on <laughs> there's just the right amount of God in this Bible movie and also like the brotherly relationship is by far the most interesting part of the film and yes, it's I mean, I think tragic. the movie's better than the book. And <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it was better than the book. <laughs> it's no Joshua in the Promised Land, but pretty good. No, I, You're I, right. I, honest to God, like love their entire like let my people go sequence, uh, like just the the juxtaposition of the two. Like there's that like, one mm -hmm. scene where it, like cuts down the middle with their faces. Like Moses can't back down. You know, he was sent by yeah. God. He has to do it for the Jewish people. He. He, he needs to fulfill his, like, legacy and his, and his purpose. And the Remesis is like, I've been raised to be in the shadow of my father. I have to maintain the mantle. I have to... You understand why his heart is hard because there's so much pressure. Mm -hmm. And it's like, obviously, you know, the Egyptians murdered the Jewish people. So, like, yeah. that's a problem. But, like... Yeah, he just comes so, <laughs> so stubborn, so brittle. I, there, there's so many outstanding moments in this movie. The entire soundtrack fucking rocks. And then, like, just, again, the grandness of it all. Yeah. Remus is, is terrific. Uh, I... I feel like Shin and Remus are, are shoulder to shoulder. S tier. Alright, so... The big dragon from... I must say Kung Fu Panda. Um... The Red Death from How to Train Your Dragon, that's right. Yeah, I feel that, like, it's more of a force of nature. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Low C. I know the termites are also a force of nature, but they were more interesting to me. Um, in presentation, and their dynamic with the ants, compared to, like, the dragon, where it's like, yeah, it's a big dragon, who cares? I cannot recall this guy that well. It's, uh... John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, Rumpelstiltskin, actually. Uh, it's kind of like a, just a much lesser ver much lesser, a lesser version of of Fire Quad. I thought he was all right, just kind of serviceable, like B tier. <laughs> just put him above the dragon guy again. Piss off, Lizzie. Um, hmm. Um, 
I never saw these guys. I never saw this movie flushed away, so. We got the frog guy. I don't know. So that's the other one. So the, yeah, I guess you you didn't see this movie. I think, think it was huzzah, right? There's the English frog and there's the French frog. <laughs> so. <laughs> then we got um Oh, I... that's the exterminator from over the hedge. This guy's pretty funny, but IDK is fine because you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. We got what's he from? Oh, that's from Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie, so I can't say. Yeah, I can't recall either. I feel so bad if like this list it's mostly I, IDK. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're kind of seen. like, oh no, we haven't really seen I don't enough know, DreamWorks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bear from Brave. No, that's that's also from Over the Hedge. All right, that, that, I know the rest of the villains now. I know the rest of the <laughs> characters, but these ones I okay, we're through. All right, we got the witch doctor guy from El Dorado. <laughs> um, um, he's okay. Um, I think he's kind of, if I may borrow the word, he's a bit of a weenie. He is kind of a weenie, but you know what? He does have. He does have a badass <laughs> moment. Stop making fun of me for liking that character. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think he is slightly more badass than Prince Charming. He does have that cool scene where he, like, the guy, his little henchman, is trying to make him the potion, and then he right. pushes him in and kills him. And then he's controlling the big jaguar thing, and it's that was a cool kind of cool, kind of intimidating. But other than that, yeah, he's just sort of sniveling and kind of slimy but so we must do more human sacrifices instead of having fruit with the chieftain yeah i mean i don't i might even say that b is a little too generous but it works i yeah low b high c it would be fine with me here we go the home stretch tai lung uh he's pretty damn good Okay. Definitely worthy of an A, but I almost feel bad like not putting him up there with Shen. Nah, I don't think he's that good. No? I think really? he's, better, he's better than Jack Horner. I think Oh, he... but his story is so sad. You really feel for him. Hmm. I mean, I would say low A, or high A. Uh, he's intimidating. He's got some fun action scenes. He... I didn't feel bad for him. I thought it was kind of... It was that scene where like he's fighting uh, Shifu. And like Shifu sees him as a little kitten, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, and then he has that little moment of humanity where he's like, oh, he always did love me, but then he's like, no, I can't give in to the the weakness or whatever. I it's really scroll. good. Right, he's like, I'm sorry, yeah. I, I failed you, I let you down. You know, it's like, you, I'm happy. You, I'm happy Shifu's with the thoughts. high A, but yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I give him, I give him. Give him a low S. Come on, give him low. Give him low S at least. Yeah. He's worthy of it. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, Titan. Yeah. Uh, yeah I say. I'd say that's A tier for sure. Upper A tier at least. I think he's a he's a great villain. <laughs> look at these look at these schmucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so solve them. It's true. Like he literally is exactly what an incel would become if. He was given superhero powers. He's kind of like Syndrome in that way. Yes, he is. But like a bit more goofy and less like cunning. Yeah. I not as not as sympathetic as Syndrome though. Syndrome, like you really do feel for him. You don't really feel for this guy. This guy's just a loser through and through. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're the punk I've heard about. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think upper S tier or A tier. I, I liked him because I feel like him gaining powers, being like, because you, like with Spider Man, with great power comes great responsibility, and that's mm -hmm. his entire struggle. And 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 then you get Titan, where it's like, I'll use my powers to be a god. You'll bend to me. Like he always, be, he's always had villainous traits lurking in him, and he finally got the power to let them out and be a complete bully. So yeah, but he's also fun. I think it's pretty funny to see him like be weak early on. You know, asking yeah. for dates, being turned down. He's all resentful. You're my son. <laughs> that scene was pretty good. 
It was pretty unexpected then. I mean, when I was a kid at least, I thought it was unexpected that this guy became a villain, so I enjoyed that. I think it... Yeah, I think it's really, really good. Then we have Death. Oh, well, we know where Death is. I mean, I'm noticing a pattern in our S tiers. I don't know if you have. Yeah, there's a... Uh... <laughs> They're all villains. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, they just look so cute and edible. Yeah, like, especially the fairy godmother. <laughs> especially the fairy godmother. <laughs> um, <laughs> Death is one of the um, most intimidating characters I've ever seen in animation. The way literally, you... like the embodiment of fear. Well, there's so many cool moments of just like, when like the crystals are cracking and forming around his face. The use of colors, even like his expressions, how his eyes are so like Ooh, beady yes. and stared. It's like he's like ripping into like into Puss's uh soul. Like it, it's just like, dude, like there's this very intense nature to him where he has like this calmness. I say calmness. It's like I know what I am. I know what I am. And and that line where he's like, yeah, people thought they could beat me. You know, everyone thinks they can. No one has. And it's like, yeah, oh, you're deaf. I love yeah, it. It's like there's so much uh finality in it and that's like just like death you know it's final uh it's really scary the design is wonderful the voice is wonderful the the whistle is so scary and foreboding the uh, and he's the, a badass the like the fur the like fur is just so well, for, strokeable okay. yeah. <laughs> the when puss's fur like stands on end when he's like oh i hear the whistle <laughs> and you just see like death like lurking where he's like hey it's me I love that, yeah. where it's like just out of eye shot. It's like, there's your death. There's the finality. There it is. And you feel that, that chill creeping up your back. Ooh, so good. Pick it up. I, I actually <laughs> I actually clapped in the theater. I was by myself, so I could do this. <laughs> but when, when Puss like flipped the scythe over to him, he's like, pick it up. I'm like, fuck yes. Like, yeah. That's all you can do in the face of death is be defiant. Uh, you know, you're going to lose, but you can still go, go down swinging. And it's like, pick mm -hmm. it up. And that was the best part. I thought that was like one of the best moments where it's like, in a way, Puss died. He, his old self died and his new self was like emerged. And that was the one worth living. And that's the one where you can fulfill your life. And I saw a comic actually where he had like Puss at the end of his life and death showed up being like, time to go. And he's like, yeah, it was a good life. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, I think I saw that too. And it was like, oh, it was kind of more of like a comforting scene rather than, you know, something that was full of action and terror. It's like, yeah. oh no, he's made his peace with it now. The Jack Horner is like, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Aw. Uh, we have. Um, Dave so this guy, Dave. that guy's, that guy's way funnier than the lawyer. I think. <laughs> I mean, it's the voice, you know. No, not S tier. <laughs> no, what if no, this no. Was the list? <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on. <laughs> that guy is not nice. living my life. <laughs> what about this nightmare? Earn? No, um, I. I put him in low. Head. Really? That's. I mean, sure. Why not? He's, he's hilarious to me. He's so fucking. <laughs> he did I, get. He did get cucked by a bee. So you know what? That's a valid reason to be evil. Dude, I, I love how. how Look at these losers that are in our age boys. here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. S tier gets oh. pussy, A tier gets none. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you said for some rearranging. I'm pretty comfortable with S and A tier. We put a lot of characters in B. That's why I was just like, are any of these maybe worthy of A tier? Um, um, I'd say he gets bumped up to low A tier. I like that. I, I really do like Pitch. I think that he's worthy of an A. B tier, B tier, B tier, B tier, B tier. <laughs> Maybe I'm like, the termites are really biased. <laughs> the like, termites, <laughs> they were evil. <laughs> uh, I feel like me, I'm, I'm being biased because like the, there's some characters that are like better than the termites. No, I'm older. That's my. That's what makes nah, me stand. You, that makes me special. Uh, yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. Um, um I don't. The uh. I'm sorry, the guy from El Dorado, not Cortez. I don't think he's really worthy of B tier. I'd say nah. C is okay. I I think A or sorry, B is too much. I think C is is better. Um, hmm. 
move some things around. Sure. Yeah. This dragon was cooler than these guys. This dragon was pretty awesome. That's better. Eh. No, I think the Pie Piper was more fun. More fun. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is Howard and the lawyer. <laughs> Um, look at that D tier. It's like a, it's like a mug lineup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? We really didn't put too many in F. None, there really weren't any straight up. These are just horrible characters. Well, I'd Scar's... still put, I'd still put Pompadour, Scar, in F tier. I think that he's just so pathetic that he deserves to be in F. He's kind of coming back to me. Imagine these three having a three way. Gross. Um, but I feel pretty comfortable with this list. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> best tier. <no>. Um, <laughs> they were the best part of the whole movie. Jeff they is pretty made cool. this movie. The termite spits acid, acid. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, chat. That's our that's our DreamWorks villain tier list. Uh, Y'all, for the folks watching this um, on the Highlights channel, hey, post in the comments down below what you think are your favorite villains. Uh, ranking wise why we are right how you're wrong um <laughs> as it goes and that i think that's going to be the end of our stream